Up through this half hour, tributes are pouring in for rock legend Meatloaf. He died last night at the age of 74. And what a legacy he leaves. Mm -hmm. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live at the Roxy Theater in West Hollywood with a look back at his life and his career. Good morning. TMZ is reporting that Meatloaf died from COVID. We have reached out to his manager to see if we can confirm that. The singer had hits over six decades, and of course, this might be one of his most well known. And I would do anything for love. That's of course I would do anything for love and yes it probably will be stuck in your head for the rest of the day. That single was from the Bad Out of Hell 2 album. The original Bad Out of Hell album released in 1977. It is still to this day one of the top 10 best selling albums of all time. Meatloaf whose real name was Marvin Lee Adde was 74 years old. He was mainly known for his singing but he was also an actor appearing in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Fight Club and more than 60 other movies. Take a look at some of the reactions from the entertainment world this morning. Pierce Morgan tweeted that he was one of rock music's all time great characters. He went on to say he was a wondrously talented, flamboyant, funny, outrageous and rebellious chameleon. Bonnie Tyler says he was, as you might imagine, a larger than life character with a voice and stage presence to match. And I guess Meatloaf was a character because Boy George wrote, quote, he once turned me upside down in a Chinese restaurant in St. John's Wood. I feel like there is a story behind that message. Now, as we come back out here live, Meatloaf actually got one of his big breaks here at the Roxy. He was cast in the original U.S. production of the Rocky Horror Show and, of course, then made it into the movie a few years later. His family released a statement this morning saying that he passed away last night surrounded by his wife, children, and close friends. And they said this in their statement, quote, from his heart to your souls, don't ever stop rocking. We'll send it back to you guys. And we won't stop rocking. His legacy will most certainly continue. Tina, thank you for that report.